In this video, I will be showing you how to use command line to list all the Linux group names. To list all the gr Linux group names on your server. Groups are very necessary so as to manage so that the users on the server can be able to work in a different in different environments. And this is always necessary for security reasons so that the task of a user can be determined based on the group the user belongs to. So I'll, we'll quickly be showing you how to list all the Linux groups on your server. You may need to do this if you want to, for example, know the different permissions for each group and also be able to determine, for example, if all the groups on your server are groups that are really known to you. So control of group membership is administered in this particular case through the etc group file. So the file shows a list of all the groups and the members of the group. So I will show you how to the different commands that you can use to determine or to check the different groups on your server. So let's look at the first one. The first one is going to display all the group names with group identifier. So that is going to be with the cat command, which is going to be cat etc slash group. So you can see that, for example, these are the different group names I have on my server. So with this, I can easily determine, I can easily display all the different groups on my server. Another command that I can use, which is going to give the same thing, is the gtent command line. So which is going to be the, the gtent group. You are going to see that this is going to give me the same result. So it gives the same results. It functions like that of the cat command. So that is what I have here. Then what if I don't want to show the group identifier? So in this particular case, group identifier is, for example, in this case, we have Fanatic 504. That is a group identifier. So what if I just want to have the names alone without the group identifier? There are some command lines I can use to do that. So the first one is going to be the court, which is minus D, which is to display the colon and the delimiter. Then with the F1, which, is, which means I want the command to really show me only the first field. field. You are going to see that I have a delimiter, which is with the colon. So I am telling, I am using the command line that, well, this part, each line has a delimiter, which is the colon. So I want only the first one. That means the first field, the first item on a, on a row. That is what I am using this command line for. So that is, then where is the command going to look for that? It is going to look for that in the same file, slash etc, slash group. So you can see that with this command, I am able to determine I am able to list only the group names without the group identifier. So that is one thing. I can also use the gtent command to do that. So I have gtent group, then with a pipe, because I want to run more than one command. So minus D with the delimiter, then the field that I am interested in. You can see that it shows the same thing. So that is how the, this command works. Then what if, for example, I want to have a sorted list of the command. For example, if I have many groups and for me to be able to go through, I may need to sort them alphabetically. So to do that, I may need the sort command. So I'm going to use the same gtent um, command line. So gtent group, then with the pipe, then cut, then the, with the delimiter, then the, the first field. That is what I'm interested in. So I am now asking that I want the, the um, I want the commands to I want to have a sorted list. So that is why I am having that. So you are going to see that in this particular case, 
everything has been sorted alphabetically. So that is one of the things that it can, I, it, one of the ways I can really determine the groups on my server. Then, for example, I may also be interested in displaying the groups to which, for example, I, I belong as a root user. So to do that, I may need the ID command, which is going to be the ID So which means in this particular case with the ID and the group, I am saying that when I am only interested in the group to which I belong and I only need the name instead of the ID. So which is what I am having in this particular in this particular case. So that is one of the ways, many of the ways that you can make use of in determining, in having for example, the, the, the list of all the Linux group names on your server.